The entire thesis is this market is going from 2.7 trillion to call it 12 trillion this cycle to 100 trillion by maybe the end of the 3032 cycle. Wow. Wow. So this is, I think, in front of us, the largest, fastest accumulation of wealth in all human history. The crypto market is about to explode. We're barreling towards a crypto summer catalyzed by the Bitcoin halving event and the recent green light for Bitcoin ETFs. That's right, even the billionaires are jumping on board. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of the most crucial points from Raul Paul's interview with Bankless. From his takes on Bitcoin ETFs to his predictions for the bull market and even some startling forecast about the next crypto winter, we've got a lot to cover. One more interesting thing is that Raul Paul disclosed his investment portfolio. Stick around till the end of the video, because I'll break it down piece by piece, giving you a rare peek into the strategy of a seasoned investor. Before we get into the main stuff, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications. Now, let's get right into it. 1. Billionaires catching a FOMO fever on Bitcoin's growing prominence. You know, I was speaking to a good uh, friend of mine who's um, a kind of very well-known hedge fund manager or ex-hedge fund manager and one of the, the billionaire crowd. And he's like, Raul, when do you think Bitcoin hits 100,000? I said, probably the summer, <laughs> you know, with the kind of demand and the ETF. It kind of feels like sometime in the summer. He's like, he's like, you know, so much wealth is getting made in crypto. It's making the billionaire class nervous. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> 2024 has been a crucial year for Bitcoin. First, it got ETFs approved at the start of the year. And now the Bitcoin halving has already happened, which has stirred a lot of excitement in the market. Now, even billionaires are catching the FOMO fever. They're seeing big signs that say, buy now or regret later. Raul Paul, in his interview, predicted that Bitcoin could hit the $200,000 mark in the upcoming crypto summer, which pretty much explains why everyone wants to have a piece of the cake. With Bitcoin currently trading at around $64,000, we're talking about a potential 200% return on investment. Now that's the kind of math that gets everyone, from your average crypto lover to the biggest whales in the market, scrambling to get in on the action. But here's where it gets interesting. Raul lays out three potential scenarios for Bitcoin post-halving. The first scenario, which he feels is 60% likely, is a strong market upturn following the halving, pretty similar to the historic four-year cycles we've seen, potentially pushing Bitcoin's price up to that $200,000 mark. Then there's the second, even more bullish scenario. Given the recent ETF approvals, there's an influx of new capital into the market, which could drive growth beyond our wildest predictions. Raul thinks this scenario has a 20% chance of playing out. Raul believes that the third scenario also has a probability of 20%, where this turns out to be a full-blown bubble cycle like 2013 or 2017. 2. The next crypto summer. Who's gonna win? If you remember last cycle, there was three breakouts, really? Well, four. One was Luna, that went. Uh, three breakouts. One was um, Solana. One was Avalanche, and the other was probably Polygon. Now, who was the winner? Well, the one that got the most adoption ended up being Solana. It was the one that came from the bottom, down 97.5% from this cycle, like ETH was the previous cycle. It's gone into now accepted as an adopted ecosystem at scale. Who's the next one? Who's the next Solana, the next ETH of this cycle? That's where the real money gets made. The crypto summer is just around the corner, and Raul Paul isn't just focusing on who's making the most money or whose graph is shooting up. It's way more strategic than that. During his interview on the Bankless podcast, he peeled back the layers on which blockchain ecosystems might come out on top in this next bull run. Now, every bull cycle has witnessed the rise of a layer one ecosystem owing to widespread adoption leading to eventual maturity. Think about this. Each bull cycle historically has been like a debut stage for a layer one ecosystem. Remember Ethereum back in 2017? That wasn't just a good year, it was the year Ethereum cemented itself as the second biggest player in the crypto league. By 2021, Ethereum was all grown up and fully matured. But that's not the end of the story. 
the 2021 cycle tossed a few other names into the ring. Solana, Avalanche, Polygon, and Luna. Despite Luna's tumble from grace, Solana sprinted ahead with massive adoption, really getting on top. Now, who's going to win the upcoming bull cycle? Well, Raul Paul believes that there are two Layer 1 ecosystems in the race. He's betting on two big names, the Move Protocol, which is at the heart of both Aptos and Sui, and then there's Cosmos. Now, these aren't just random picks, they're based on their unique ecosystems and thriving communities. Raul also added that he believes Avalanche could be in the race, but since it failed to win against Solana, the former two are the main contenders this time. And that's where you should fix your eyes. 3. The Next Crypto Winter – How to Prepare And people think they can be clever and cute. They think, oh, I'm going to time this thing. We've already talked about how difficult crypto fall is. Do you have a spike? Does it finish early? You don't know. The easier game is to say, I don't care. I'm just going to continue buying it. After every sunny crypto summer comes the inevitable chill of winter, and no one wants to get caught unprepared. Losing money? That's everyone's nightmare. But Raul Paul, who's seen his fair share of these cycles, has some seasoned advice to share. Raul Paul believes that once you put your money into a cryptocurrency and you see the value go down, you are going to panic. Well, that's quite a normal response, right? But here is what Raul believes you should do. Once the market goes down, do nothing. Literally, just sit down, make sure your digital assets are secured, and wait for the bear market to get over. That's the strategy Raul Paul has adopted. But what if you really need the money? Raul suggests a balanced approach. Sell half of your portfolio. This way, you're not completely out of the game. You still have skin in the game for when the market turns favorable again. Now, when it comes to preparing for the crypto winter, the answer is you cannot. Raul's straight with us here. You can't prepare for the crypto winter in the traditional sense because no one truly knows when the market will plunge. His advice boils down to this. Develop patience and let the bear market run its course. It's not about outsmarting the market, it's about being resilient enough to stay in it. 4. Raul Paul's Crypto Portfolio 90-80% sold. All of my ETH is now NFTs. I've been buying high-end art NFTs. Um, I then have a bunch of the portfolio in the fund of hedge funds in Exponential Age Asset Management. Um, and I have 1% in st stupid shit, like whiff like <laughs> and doge and bonk, got all of those, but that's 1%. So, when asked about his crypto portfolio, Raul Paul said that most of his portfolio consists of SOL and ETH. Raul went all in on Solana when it started to gain traction in 2021 and has held on to his assets for quite some time now. That's because he believes these assets have the potential to steadily grow in value over time. Back in 2021, when Solana was just beginning to gain traction, Raul went all in. He's held on to those assets, convinced of their long-term growth potential. And if we just glance at the numbers from the past year, SOL has soared by a whopping 620%, while ETH has notched a 75% increase. These are the kind of numbers that can make any investor sit up. When it comes to meme coins, Raul Paul doesn't seem quite impressed. Only 1% of his portfolio consists of meme coins like Dog With Hat, Dogecoin, and Bonk two of which are Solana meme coins anyway. When asked what advice he would offer investors who want to jump into the crypto market, Raul Paul said that potential investors must educate themselves about crypto and blockchain before diving in. And that's really important. Always and always do your homework before investing in the crypto market because it's highly volatile. Now, if you're wondering which other assets you should have in your investment portfolio, we've got you covered. Watch our next video on Tesla stock analysis to learn how it can help you become rich by 2024. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and get the conversation going in the comment section below. We will see you soon with another insightful video right here on Investing Machine.